Technology can help you move your business forward, but when you're already pressed for time and your budget doesn't allow for too many additional expenditures, you may not know where you should turn next. There are many options when you start to look into technology, but knowing what the top performers are can help you narrow down your search for the perfect fit for your business. In today's podcast episode, I'm covering the top free tech tools that you can use in your business to increase your productivity. Taking the time to invest in technology that will move your business forward and free up additional time in your calendar so that you can focus on other areas might be hard to do at first, but you need to look at the overall impact that it will have on your business. Whether you're starting a business or side hustle, you're a self-employed individual, a solopreneur, entrepreneur, mompreneur, freelancer, business owner, bookkeeper, or virtual assistant. Having the right tech tools in your business to ensure your business is running smoothly is crucial for not only your business growth, but to help prevent overwhelm and stress on yourself as a business owner. If you're a business owner who wants to take your business to the next level, whether you're starting a business you're building your business, or you're serious about growing your business, I want to invite you to work with me so that you can meet your goals in the most accelerated, streamlined, and efficient way possible. That also aligns with your life and the impact that you want to make with your business. As a CPA, business strategist, and coach, I've created two options for you to choose from when you work with me. The first is my Mastering Your Small Business Finances Profit Lab. This is a group program where we have live weekly business meetings and coaching sessions to answer your questions so that you can generate revenues and increase the profit in your business. You can learn more about the Profit Lab by going to financialadventure.com slash profit. Or if you like the idea of working with me on a more private, one-on-one basis, you can schedule a free consultation session where we'll go over where you currently are in your business and where you'd like to see yourself and your business in the future. During this session, we'll begin to map out the steps you need to take to achieve your goals. I'm helping my clients start their businesses, become more profitable, set strategies to move their business forward, and take control of their business and their finances while allowing them the balance and ability to enjoy their personal lives by utilizing business strategy, coaching, mentorship, and support. You can schedule your session today by going to financialadventure.com and clicking on the Work With Me button. By taking action in your business, you'll achieve your goals. By keeping everything simple, you'll avoid confusion and overwhelm. You'll understand your business finances, your next steps, and you'll follow through with the vision that you have for your business. My goal is to help you dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. You're listening to the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, where we get straight to the point on topics that ultimately affect your bottom line. That's right. As an entrepreneur with a small business, money management, growth, marketing, they all affect your bottom line. I'm your host, Chris Ponick. I'm a certified public accountant, and I've been helping small business owners like you navigate and easily understand these complicated topics for over 25 years. I'm a wife, a mom, a grandmother, and a small business owner myself, so I know your time is valuable. In my free time, I make the best sugar cookies and have mastered an amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe. And that's not just my opinion. You're in the right place. I promise your time will be well spent here. Each week you'll gain confidence and clarity while making a successful impact on your business and grow your bottom line. Get comfy, grab a cookie, and let's get straight to the point with this week's episode. Welcome back. When you're running your business on your own or being a solopreneur, you more than likely have a booked calendar and not a lot of extra time on your hands. Your time is valuable 
and most business owners don't have a lot of staff to help with all the tasks that need to get done. When you are in this situation, utilizing technology for your business is going to be extremely important to increase your efficiency. Without technology, it's easy to become overwhelmed and stressed, but by having the right tools in place, you can improve not only your productivity, but your accuracy as well. When you're looking for technology that will fit in your business, I want you to make sure that the technology you choose is easy for you to use and that you understand what it's doing and how it works. The technology that you choose should meet or exceed your needs and your expectations. It should be affordable and have a sound system in place for customer service just in case you have any questions. Knowing that many of my listeners are on a tight budget, I wanted to talk about some of the top tech tools that are out there that have a free version for you to use. You may find that many of the tech tools that I touch on today will be sufficient in your business with the free version alone. You may never need to upgrade to the paid version, and if you do, you'll already know that the technology that they're providing is helping you increase your productivity and your efficiency, and you'll be ready and willing to move to the paid version. The first tech tool that I want to mention is the Google Suite. Many of my clients use the Google Calendar, Documents, Sheets, and Forms in their business. When you use the Google Suite, all of your documents are saved in your Google Drive. It's all in the cloud, so you can easily share these documents with your team members or access them from anywhere that you have an internet connection. If you have a Gmail email address, you already have access to this tech tool. Next, I want to talk about Zoom. More than likely, over the past few years, you've needed to attend a Zoom meeting. Zoom has become a common way to meet with others in business and our personal lives. You can virtually meet with anyone, whether they're just across the street or in a different state. If you're meeting with someone that is local, you can still save time by eliminating your drive time. So the next time you need to meet with someone, ask yourself if you could do it virtually and free up a little extra time in your calendar. Next up is HubSpot. HubSpot is a customer relationship management system. A CRM allows you to track potential, current, and past customers. It's an excellent way for you to keep your customer database, it's easy to navigate, and it tracks all of your leads. Asana is another excellent top tech tool. Asana is a task management software. You can create repeating tasks, assign them to team members, and track your progress. It tracks your due dates and allows you to stay on top of your to-do list and your projects all in one place. Maintaining an email list of all of your customers and having a way to market to them is something every business should have. And if you don't have an email list yet, I recommend you start building it today. ConvertKit has a free email marketing solution. Having an email marketing solution so that you can email your customers whether you're sending them valuable content or letting them know about your products or your services, you need to have an option that you have control over. Social media is great, but what do you do if your account is suddenly closed? When you have your own email list, you have the power to email your customers whenever you want. If you struggle with graphic design, Canva's free design software will definitely help you in this area. Canva has a template for almost anything that you can imagine. If you need to design a flyer, your business card, an ad, or a document like your business letterhead, or maybe a pamphlet describing your product or your services, check Canva out. It's easy to use, and you can design anything you put your mind to. If you're a business owner who schedules a lot of meetings, you can use Calendly to help you do this and stop the back and forth conversations from finding the perfect time for both you and your customer. You simply send them a link to your calendar and they find a time that works for them. It's a win-win situation for both of you by saving time and getting the meeting scheduled quickly. 
all of the tech tools that I mentioned here today have a free version, so there should be no reason you don't get started utilizing them to increase productivity in your business today. Take a minute and prioritize the tech tools that I mentioned today to see where you or your business could benefit the most. And pick one and try it out. Even if you don't have much time to implement these tech tools, I recommend blocking off a few minutes of your day or setting up a specific time in your week when you could work on setting up one of these tech tools for your business. This investment of time will definitely pay off over time. And you could save a lot of time in the future. These tech tools will help you be more efficient and create accuracy. You'll be able to see your progress in real time, and overall, you should be able to lower your costs. Not only is your time valuable, but if you have employees, you'll save time and money here as well. You'll be able to increase your communication and collaboration with your teammates, and your overall time management will improve. When you free up your time, you'll be able to focus on other areas in your business and continue to move towards your overall goals in your business. Your business will run more smoothly and any overwhelm or stress that you're feeling should decrease. I'd love to hear which tech tools you're using in your business or how much time you're saving when implementing the tools that I discussed today. You can go to financialadventure.com and send me a quick email letting me know how helpful this episode has been for you. If you've been thinking about starting a business, the only way that you can get your business started is to take your initial idea and just take the leap. You need to take starting your business seriously, and once you get started, you'll be able to see where your business will go over time. Starting a business couldn't be easier than it is right now. If you want to start a business, What's holding you back? Don't let the excuse of getting your business set up hold you back. It takes a lot of work and perseverance to start and grow a business, but your first step is to use your obstacles as stepping stones to move you forward. You need to execute, and you'll do this when you take the first step to start your business. If you are ready to get your business going, I'm working on a program where I'm helping people just like you to help you get your business set up. I'm covering the foundations and what you need to do to set up your business. I know this is the biggest obstacle that holds people back from starting their business. They know what they want to do in their business, but they are just not sure how to get the business set up so that they can start making money. In this program, I'm covering what you need to have in place to start your business and how you can set everything up to track your finances even if you're not making any money yet. This program is excellent for people who are just starting their business and even those who may have already started their business, but they want to ensure that they set their business up correctly. If you're interested, you can sign up for the waitlist by going to financialadventure.com start. I will initially be offering this program for free, so if you're ready to get your business set up and started, or you know of someone who could benefit from this program, please pass this information on to them so they can join us when they are ready. I know there's many people out there who either want to start a business or side hustle, but they've just been waiting to get their business set up. They're using it as a roadblock. I know there are lots of questions you have when setting up your business, and many people will let these unanswered questions hold them back. I'll help you not only get answers to your questions, but I'll help you work through them as well. I'll help you with your business idea and why you want to start your business in the first place. I know you can research and research your way to setting up your business, but that takes time and you never know if you're getting the correct information. When you sign up for this program, you'll fast track your way to getting your business set up so that you can start making money. I'll save you time and for now, it is free. It's a win-win situation for you, so I hope to see you in the program soon. I'll post links to this program and other helpful links in the show notes. And you know I'm going to ask, what's at least one thing that you'll take away from this episode that will help your business succeed and grow your bottom line? If you need some accountability, join our private Facebook community and post your action item. 
We'd love to support you. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this episode of Mastering Your Small Business Finances. If you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, I'd love for you to give it a five-star rating and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. Visit financialadventure.com for the show notes, links from this episode, and while you're there, leave a comment if you have a topic you're interested in learning more about that affects your bottom line. If you're looking for a community where you can ask questions and get feedback about your small business, join my private Facebook group. You can find the links to this group and more on financialadventure.com. And remember, any financial information shared on this podcast is not to be considered professional, financial, or tax advice and should not be solely relied upon. Please consult your CPA or tax advisor for an opinion on your specific circumstances. I'm looking forward to having you tune in next time. Until then, dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. Thank you.